Welcome, welcome, welcome to Learning Reaper. I am your host, x.e.l.o. And today, what I want to do is talk about Ripcord. Ripcord is a way you can actually create chords really easy in any DAW. It doesn't necessarily matter what DAW you have. As long as it can actually run a VST3, you should be able to use this in your DAW. Shout out to the people at Trackbout. They're the ones who actually created the Ripcord, so you can actually use it in these DAWs. So I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step how it actually looks, how I actually get it set up, and how it actually works. So let's get into it, and we're going to do this all inside of Reaper. Let's go. All right, so first, uh, if you go down to the link in the description, it will take you straight to this track about uh, Ripcord page. So this is what it looks like. Uh, so this is Ripcord and you have all your little buttons and things on here. So if you do need a detailed information about it, they do have it on the website, but I'm going to kind of go through it in this video as well. All right, so if you scroll down, uh, as you see, it'll put it inside of your VST3 folder. So if you're on a Mac or if you're even on Windows, it'll go to your VST3 folder. Makes it a whole lot easier to uh, to do this. So if you actually need to do it for Windows, you actually put it in your VST3 folder, usually found in your common area when you're going through your files. Uh, but they give you a step by step of how to do that. So you go to your program files, common files. Right. And then they'll have VST three and you basically just drag and drop ripcord inside there and you'll have it set up. Uh, I think it's pretty simple and self explanatory. So if you have any questions about what these buttons are, uh, they're on the website as well. Uh, so it gives you one through what is that? 18. So, um, the star is like your, uh, your star is your favorites. They actually have favorites now, um, but the newer version, your settings, power, um, option to record. This is for left or right when you're actually doing your velocity. So if you have like a velocity sensitivity on, that's what this is. This velocity sensitivity, you'll be able to kind of do that um, really easy in here. Uh, and you could go left or right. So basically it's letting you know you can go left or right, or you can do both and they'll kind of just alternate them uh, as well. Right. So these are how you move like, uh, transport, uh, transients kind of up and down. Um, this one is for more random options to randomize. Uh, this is for your pick. So basically to strum and this is your direction as well. And this is where you can kind of drop your recordings. So if you do a recording here, you can drop it from there. I think that's super cool. Uh, they have the keyboard here laid out and you usually see blue keys and things like that. Um, your play and edit modes, uh, your different, uh, sections where you can actually choose different presets and you have presets here as well. So I'm um, kind of going to go through those as well. Uh, and this is basically you setting it up your own kind of chord. So you can name the chord, whatever you want to name it. Um, and you can go, you know, left or right or up or down inside of your transpose. So you can transpose up or down um, and kind of lock it in here as well. And you could basically just put in whatever input you want and then you can name it and it'll save the preset here. I think that's super, super cool that they have that in here. So these are some of the things that they just added in here inside of Ripcord where you can actually have like um, different scales that you can actually put up here and kind of just add them to different keys. So it's, I think that's super, super cool that they did that in here now. So you can kind of search that way. Um, basically have like tags on your progressions. Uh, it'll make it a lot easier for you to actually create that way as well. So that's some of the newer things that they added in there. As you can see, you can enter a tag name, uh, major, minors, expansions, things like that. So super, super cool. Um, and of course, this is an option to kind of get your light or dark or resize, uh, the rip cord as well. So all these things are on the website. So if you do need any info on that, it is on the website itself. So you can kind of walk through it that way as well, but I'm just going to go through it, uh, and show you how I actually set mines up inside of Reaper. Let's go. All right, so I'm here inside of Reaper and this theme is called the peace theme. So I'm just gonna add an instrument in here. I'm just gonna do something really simple. All right, so I'm just gonna pull up a simple instrument. Um, I did find a new one, it's called Volts, and it's in the beta uh, settings for it. Um, and this is what it looks like. So this is 
a super simple, easy to use VST. Um, I'll try to link it below in the description if I can remember. So it basically gives you like a uh, option for a piano and you have strings, like a celestial tone, some shimmer guitar, a chorus synth and a uh, studio drum. So all this is included with vaults and they're adding stuff uh, all the time to it. So I think it's really cool, right? Really simple kind of UI. If you hit this little eye up here, it'll give you an option to see what you're kind of doing. You can scroll through, you can adjust your macros here. You have effects that you can use and you can switch the direction of the effects. So if you wanted your effects to go from, uh, right to left or from left to right. You have it right here where you could do that by hitting this button. Super cool. Uh, super simple. Um, very, very low CPU, uh, intensity. So, and I think it sounds pretty good. So, uh, with that being said, let's kind of get started here. So there are several ways to kind of set up ripcord. So I'm going to make a, uh, MIDI item. Right. So I'm gonna close this, uh, have the MIDI item set up. So usually if you're going to use any kind of VST, you want to make sure it's up before the actual instrument. So if I go in here and I find ripcord, right. And I add that on here. So you want to make sure the ripcord is before the VST, right? So make sure it's before this is one way to do it. I don't do it this way, but it's just another way. If you want to just have like the one key show up on your piano roll, um, or if you want the chords, I'm going to show you a way to show all the chords as well. All right. So with this system, uh, we're in ripcord. I have the dark mode set. You have an option for your starred, uh, stuff. If you have anything starred, it'll show up. Uh, I actually don't star anything. I don't know why just. I don't think I just haven't, uh, you go to your settings and it'll bring you here. You can start a new preset. Um, you can import MIDI files, which is super, super dope. So let's say you do have some, um, let's just say cymatics, right? So cymatics has some MIDI packs that they have. You can drag and drop those MIDI files inside of ripcord. Uh, really, really easy to do. Um, so if I hit on import, all right, so I'm going into unison. Unison actually had some. I uh, like the, the MIDI chord pack. So they have a whole bunch of different ones. So let's say chords and melodies, right? So these two are in here. So I can actually add these in there, hit on this, right? And it's telling me what the chords are and I can hit open and boom. So those files are in here now. So this is how easy it is to actually do this inside of ripcord. So uh, if you do have any MIDI files, you can just kind of drag them in there and it'll actually load up inside of ripcord and separate them by the keys, right? And if you wanted to edit these, you can go to right here to where it says edit and it'll give you an option to click on the keys and you can edit and add uh, or take away if you wanted to. Uh, and basically just hit on this to download it, to make it go to this key, right? And you can always like uh, go up or down right? Move it over. You can move all the keys over. So really, really cool. Um, and simple to kind of use, right? So, um, with that being said, that is that part of it. So you can always export your current MIDI. So if you did any changes to it, you can export it. Um, you can import presets. You can export your current presets as well. And it even has an option now for MPC files. It didn't have this before, but now you can actually do that. You can always resize uh, ripcord as well. So it gives you an option to change it to however your GUI is. Um, you could always do a light mode as well or a dark mode. I am a dark mode guy, so I'll usually leave mine on uh, on that. So, so output is always gonna show what's actually being played, right? Um, and down here is your input. So these are the keys that are ready to actually play those sounds, right? So this option will give you an option to actually record inside of ripcord. So if, if you hit on record in here, right? Right. And I stop recording. 
Uh, this right here, it will capture whatever I did. Of course, it pulled up on the other screen, so you can't see it. And it pops up with this, and it says adjust media based uh, on the tempo. And I can hit OK. Boom. And it actually created a whole ripcord file right here. So these are the notes that I played, and it's putting it in the timing of the tempo of the, the track. Uh, I think that's super, super cool. It's something that you can do. You don't have to do it. Uh, but it's one way to actually get the chords out if you want to just record some stuff and then have it for later on. Um, it's not necessarily how I use it, but uh, it is an option that you do have, right? All right. So, um, so going through here, this is your vo volume. So uh, this will change the volume. So it'll go from left to right. So let's see. So they'll give you different velocities and this one will actually randomize those velocities. And you could change the direction from here. Right. And if you hit both of them, then it'll go both ways. So so you'll hear it a little bit different. And these are really cool to actually have uh, inside here. And like I said, this is to transpose up and down. So if you wanted to actually um, go up or down in your transport, this is where it would go here. All right. So this is to randomize your strum. So if you do a strum, you give it a little bit more randomizing. So this is, this is to give you the, the more human feel with this one. Right. And then you can change direction. As you see, it starts from here and then goes that way. And you can have it go both ways. So it'll switch sides as you see, it'll go this way and then that way. So really, really cool stuff that they, uh, actually have inside of Ripcord. Um, the play is just to play regular edit. And then you have presets here. So I have several presets. So if I hit on presets, you can go down the line and kind of pick whatever preset you want. Um, as you see, I haven't started anything cause I just, just don't, <laughs> but, uh, you do have that option to star you, whatever you want to, uh, star. Um, and also now you have the option to add like, uh, tags to your stuff and you can even search for your presets here. Um, so really, really cool. And keyboards will bring you back out to keyboards. So that's pretty much the f final kind of layout of Ripcord. So let's say we wanted to use it to uh, make something. So we just use these sim simple keys here. So let's try to see if we can record that in. All right. So now as you see, I'm gonna pull us up inside of the MIDI editor so you guys can kind of see it a little bit bigger, right? So as you see, it only has the one note, but it is actually playing chords with this just one note. And then you can always, you know, kind of, uh, quantize these. Hit okay. And if I go back and play it, so really, really cool. Um, and with this option here, it gives you, um, I can do a strum on here, right? So I'm going to do a strum. And I'm gonna do it one way. Right, so this gives you an option to kind of play around with the notes and keys. Um, 
with just one single note being played, right? But uh, this is not the way I usually like to do it. I usually like to kind of um, set everything up myself a little bit different. So what I want to do is actually use the same exact rip chord. So in Reaper, you can actually drag and drop stuff. So I'm going to grab this here grab this rip chord and I'm gonna drag it over here to this says MIDI all and this effects here. So I'm gonna grab it and drag it there. So now I have an input effect. Um, this is really, really cool. Uh, one of the things I really like about Reaper is that you can have input effects. So basically whatever I do in here, it'll actually show inside of the MIDI editor. Uh, so all the notes will be actually played out. Uh, so let me show you what I'm talking about. All right, so we're gonna make this one uh, a MIDI item, right? And we're just gonna record that in. And you're gonna see the strums and everything. Let's go. Right. And just that simple, we have, uh, those chords actually laid out where you can see them inside of the doll. You can see all the notes that we actually use from the chord generator. And I think this is what makes it really, really dope for ripcord, especially when you're using Reaper. So if that's something that you guys want to do or use, um, I should have the link below in the description to actually go and download ripcord. And like I said, it is absolutely free. So, uh, nothing really to lose everything to gain uh make sure you guys are liking and subscribing to the channel if you have like any questions or concerns please leave them below in the comment section of the video and once again this is your boy x.e.l.o until next time people peace hey you yes you youtube wants you to watch this video next man go ahead and click it i'll wait Nah, I'm just playing. I'm not going to keep waiting here. All right. I will see you in the next video, though. Peace.